Now we have 1 over tangent x plus 1. Well, because we have the tangent x, we can just go ahead and use the Google strategy, right? Let's rewrite tangent x as sine x over cosine x. So let's do that. 1 over, this is sine x over cosine x, and then we still have the plus 1 after that. And as you can see, this is a complex fraction. It's more intimidating, but we still do it with the same principle. That means I will just go ahead and you see the denominator of the small fraction is cosine x, right? I will multiply the entire bottom right here by that cosine x. And we do the same on the top, of course. And let's see what do we have. On the top, 1 times cosine x is, of course, just cosine x. And we have this over, and I will put this down in red. We distribute cosine x with this, right? When you do cosine x times this, this cosine x and that cosine x will cancel out when you distribute. That means you will have the sine x left. And then you distribute the cosine x with the 1. So this is plus 1 times cosine x, which is just cosine x. At the end, we see that we have cosine x over sine x plus cosine x, and that's answer choice C. So we know we are done. This right here will be the answer, and that's it.